Hey guys, today we'll talk a little bit about the sidekick or yokogeri in Japanese. Yoko means side. Geri means, it actually means diarrhea. But if you put it after the word yoko, it becomes kick. So sidekick. Anyway, don't say the word geri in Japan unless you actually have diarrhea. But that's a side note. Now when you do the sidekick, there are different parts of the foot that you can use. I use something known as sokuto. Sokuto. This is the Japanese character. Soku means foot. And to means sword or blade. It's kind of similar to the shuto, this part. Shu means hand. And this means, again, blade or sword. So sword hand, shuto, and this part of the foot, sokuto. <clears throat> so now that you know the part that you need to impact with, here's how you do it. <clears throat> and I will use this in a second. Step one of the sidekick is to bring your knee up high. Then from here, you need to have some external hip rotation in your supporting leg. So look. One, bring it up high, and two, open up this leg, which allows full range of motion in your hips. Then from here, this is very important. Your heel needs to travel in a straight line towards the target. This way. It's very common that you see this when people do the side kick which is actually not a side kick, right? It's like a bad roundhouse kick or mawashigeri. So make sure that your leg travels in a straight line. To do that, you need to use this muscle, the biggest muscle on the human body. And since your muscles are elastic, the more you can bring it up this way, the more powerful your kick will be. It's like pulling a rubber band back and bam, releasing it for a high impact. And it doesn't matter what height you kick, it's the same principle. So you can do a high one, jodan, right? Or chudan or gedan. Same thing, bring your knee up high, twist to stretch this muscle, and then go down or up, up to you. So how can we improve our mobility to be able to perform this kick? Let me show you. First, sit down in a squat. Now from here, one leg goes out as if I'm touching to see if the water is cold or hot. Then slowly move. Now step behind your other leg, center of gravity is low and turn around. Same thing on the other side. One, go, 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 and behind, turn around. This is very good for strength and mobility, especially for the sidekick. So try that one if you want to improve your sidekick, along with the correct technique. <clears throat> My last piece of advice to improve the sidekick is to practice. If you only do a sidekick once or twice a week, you won't get better. You need to be able to be, stay relaxed and loose and snappy in your kick. It's kind of like if you're learning to drive a car, right? At first, you're super stiff and you're afraid of the traffic. But then gradually, after a year or so, you're able to relax. Suddenly, you can drive with one finger and talk on the phone. It's the exact same thing with the sidekick. If you practice a lot, you'll be able to do it and stay relaxed. And this is the key for Kime, that last split second of fixation or impact in your sidekick. But you need experience and practice, just like driving a car. Eventually, you'll be confident in your skill and your sidekick will be smashing. Good luck.